Time for our fresh off the field interview brought to you by Austin Air, the official clean air provider of the Buffalo Bills. And who better <laughs> to have on in this time slot right. than the chief spokesperson for Austin Air Purifiers, one Jordan Poyer, joining us fresh off the field uh, after practice today. And uh, Jordan, we just listened in a little bit to Josh Allen's comments with the media. I'm telling you, man. He sounded all business, and uh, based on coaches' comments today, it sounds like uh, everything is all business this week. Yeah, I appreciate you guys for having me on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it's uh, obviously you know, a tough loss last week, but uh, you know, it's back to back to business, man. Uh, no reason to no reason to sulk and, and feel sorry for yourself. You know, it's back to back to business. We had a great day practice today wednesday um you know about to watch the film make our corrections and you know just stay positive throughout the week um you know we're a good football team and just continue to work yeah and as this as this week transpires you guys get back at it i think mean, i've said this a lot certainly us in the media and the fans have nothing to do but stew over what happened in jacksonville but as a player it's a lot. It's a lot easier to put it behind you and start because you got something to get ready for. And that's the New York Jets. Give us an idea of the mindset going into New York, going on the road, uh, and taking on a division rival where these games now with eleven teams in the conference having five wins or more. I mean, it's a horse race coming down the stretch, and all these games really, really matter, particularly these division games. Right, and uh, like you said, you said it, man. Uh, going on the road in a division game against a, a rival. Uh, you know, we got to be prepared. Uh, you know, the football team is hungry. Uh, quarterback is hungry. Um, you know, we got some we got some talented players over there. And so defensively, we got to be ready to play um, and, and come out, come out and play our game of football. I know. Um, you know, you take the Jets at their word. Mike White's the starter. Um, doesn't look like Zach Wilson's quite ready to come back yet. The thing that is hard not to you know, overlook about White. He gets the ball out fast. Uh, quick decisions, timing offense. Um, I'm not looking for the game plan from you here, Jordan, but when you got a quarterback that you know is going to get it out, you know your pass rush is not going to be helping you out a lot. So does that just make you have to focus all the more on the back end, knowing that the ball is going to be in the air more often than the quarterback's going to be on the ground? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, with, with Mike, you know, it, it's – he had – had a lot of, I mean, had a lot of yards in the game that they won. I think he threw for 400 yards. Um, a lot of them, you know, did come on the checkdowns. Uh, so that means you got to be able to uh, have vision and be able to break and make tackles in open field. And uh, that's not easy at all. Um, but at the same time, that's just what we're going to have to do. Uh, be able to, you know, try to make them one-dimensional uh, with stopping the run and force the quarterback to, to, you know, read our defense and make decisions um, on the run. So, uh he so said they got some talented players. Mike White, he's a, he's a hungry quarterback, man. He's, he's won, won some football games, been on a couple teams. I know what it's like to be cut and move from another team. You know, that, that hunger just it burns even more. So uh, we got a, a guy coming uh, that we're about to go see. He's, he's a shooting hungry to, to help his team win a football game. You know, it, we talked a lot about last year about, you know, it would be nice if you had just a little bit of a better pass rush in 2020. would have helped you out a little bit. This year it is better. And you and Micah have, are the only safety duo in the league to have three interceptions apiece. Turnovers have really driven your season. You've really aided the offense on a ton. you got a, as many turnovers as anybody in the league. Give us an idea of what difference, what's different about this defense this year in 2021 than it is last year. It's easy for me to say, hey, there's a couple of new faces up front and all that. What do you feel it's different when you're out there playing? Right. You know, I think that we're just playing with a lot more sense of confidence uh, in ourselves and in each other. Uh, we're trusting each other a lot more. Um, you know, we're knowing where each guy is supposed to be. Um, you know, and, and we're just having fun playing the game of football. Uh, we work extremely hard and, and uh, to get the results that, that we've done. And we're nowhere near where we want to be. We never can be content, so we want to keep working. Um, but at the same time, you know, our, our D-line is humming and it's forcing quarterbacks to make bad decisions and, you know, Mike and I like to think whenever that ball is in the air, it's ours. So uh, that's our mindset. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's rushing coverage. You know, they, they coincide together. So uh, if we're not covering, our defense can't get there. And if they're not rushing, then, you know, they, they got all day throwing football. So they all, all go together. Jordan, uh, coach in addressing the media on Monday, uh, kind of revealed some of his messaging to you guys uh, the day after the game, after he reviewed the film along with the staff. And he said part of what he communicated to you guys was this is a game that's played in a physical way and we need to be more physical. 
That seems like a pretty plain statement, but how do you feel you guys in the locker room took that and interpreted it for your play going forward? Yeah, I mean, you can see it today uh, in practice. Uh, guys just using their hands, getting off blocks, uh, pads are popping. Um, you know, the message is sent, the message is received. Um, so, you know, we want to have that same mindset going into the going into tomorrow's practice, going into the weekend, and, uh, and going into Sunday. Um, it, was a, it was a great message that, that Sean you know, spoke to us this morning, and so we want to take that and continue to, continue to use that. Give us a little idea about, you know, the personality of your defense headed into New York. This is – it's not like you had to get ready for Zach Wilson and now you got to do Mike White. You've never faced the Jets with Zach Wilson anyway, so this is really – just a new season, a new team, a new attitude. Or, you know, it's a new new group of guys you're going to go against. Give us what you see in the Jets and what their personality is facing them this week. Yeah, uh, like I said, some talented football players. You know, Elijah Moore, Michael Carter, a uh, guy who is, you know, with the ball in his hands, he, he can make people miss. Um, he's not the biggest guy, but definitely can make people miss. Um, solid offensive line. Like I said, Mike White, a guy who, who's extremely hungry uh, to help his team win football games. Um, and... Uh, you know, obviously they got Crowder still over there, a veteran, veteran leader who's been in this, been in the league a long time, and still able to make plays. And so, um, you know, I said it earlier, we're gonna have our hands full uh, at defense. We're gonna have to play well, play well to win. And then, just with the young fellas, you know, that you guys have turned to and relied upon, you know, in the early going here, and I'm talking about Rousseau chiefly. Um, you know, I know Basham's been on and off the field a little bit, and AJ's, you know year two what have you seen from those guys through the course of the season where i mean i guess the question here jordan is are they kind of getting up to speed now you know because we're getting pretty close to the point where coach won't even call them rookies anymore because of the amount of game experience they're getting are you guys having to be in their ear a whole lot less because they're handling their business and they're they've got a feel for things now yeah, I mean, those guys have always been great since they came in. I think Sean and Dean, the Bagulas, they, uh, they bring, you know, those type of people in. Uh, guys who come in and are, are ready to work and, and, you know, buy into the system right away. Um, you know, obviously there's some things as a rookie that you go through that, you know, some vets are going to have to help you through. Uh, the ebbs and flows of the, of the game is one. The ebbs and flows of the whole season is two. You know, because it's a long season. Guys coming from college playing 12 games, you know, at this point in the season, you know, Last year, you might have four games left. Well, so we got nine games left. So, you know, it's a, you know, we, you know, week to week, and always trying to harp on them to stay consistent within your routine, stay consistent within yourself, uh, and, and every day, one day at a time. You know, and really a twenty-four hour rule. Whether you play well and win, whether you play well and lose, whether you, you know, play well, yeah, vice versa. You know, you gotta learn how to handle your wins and handle your losses and, and move on. Because you know, you got another game on Sunday. That you can't either, you can't soak in from the from the week before, and you can't be too high that you played you know, amazing the week before. And you going into the next week, you got to stay consistent in your routine, and you know, that's why I try to you know, teach some of those young guys. And they have they've done that, man. I see I see those guys. They work extremely hard. Um, all guys, who, you know, got a really consistent routine, and, and I'm excited to see how how far they continue to, uh, to go for us. Well, Sean McDermott has always had this mindset of growth, getting better and better. One of the reasons, one of the things that people, on just a casual fan, will say you can get better at is avoiding penalties. What's been the coaching staff's mentality and their messaging this week after getting uh, 12 penalties for 118 yards this last weekend? Yeah, just doing your 111th. Uh, it's basically, just doing your job. It's as simple as that. Um, nothing more, nothing less. Um, you know, understanding, understanding how they're calling football games now. Uh, being able to keep our boys. Um, you know, some penalties are, are tougher to, to get by than, than others, but at the same time, we got to continue to play and keep our boys and uh, just continue to do our one level. Last one here, Jordan. Um, you know, last week, a couple of guys get nicked up. You have guys step in and fill in admirably. You know, Saran did a nice job in there for Taron. Uh, you know, you have a couple of guys nicked this week, including Tremaine. When you got guys like Saran, AJ, uh, Klein, you know, and others, that can just kind of slide right in and you guys don't miss a beat. What sense of comfort does that give, you know, the regular starters when a guy comes in and, you know, you've seen the guy do the job before? Yeah, I mean, that's huge. Uh, you know, you like to think that, you know, it doesn't matter who's out there. 
Um, you know, quality to communicate and there's no drop off. And you know, those guys work extremely hard in the staff. Uh, AJ has been been in the league as long as I have nine years. Uh, Saran, you know, he just continues to show, you know, his his ability to what he can do on the football field, um, and he's always continuing to learn. Uh, so to see those guys going there, you know, got no, there's there's no, uh, oh AJ's coming in the game. We got to, you know, it's uh, AJ's coming in the game. We trust him. He's gonna give us a call. We're gonna execute it. Uh, just as the same way as the name is in there. You know, it's uh, guys who came in, got Jaquan came in for me early in the season uh, when I missed the Houston game, no drop off. You know, it's just, it's next man up. And that's just, you know, the type of people that, uh, that, that are brought here and, and work extremely hard and for since, those situations. And since we have the Austin Air spokesperson on here, um, <laughs> maybe just fill everybody in. Where does where do these things work best? In the bedroom, like for sleeping? Or? Uh, yes, I, I like it in my bedroom uh, because I like white noise. I used to sleep with white noise on my phone. I would just use like the Rain app or a white noise app. And use it. Yeah. But now, I actually use the Austin Air, uh, and it's actually perfectly loud. of those four or five settings of uh, you know, how, how loud you can hear it. I use it on setting four, and it's just perfect. Uh, and I come home after a long day, and honestly, the, the house just smells so clean. It feels clean. Um, and, and that's not the spokesperson to be talking. That's actually, that's facts. So, well, and um, that's, I hope you got And I was going to say, and that's, and that's big, too, in the wintertime here in Buffalo, because, you know, all the windows are closed. It's not like you got fresh right, air blowing right. through the house. Right. It gets it might get a little stuffy, but no, it's awesome there. You go in the home, it feels like a, a nice spring day. All I can think of, like. all I can think mm-hmm. of is, man, that'd be perfect for training camp when you have to go away to training camp. Oh, in the, the dorm, dorm yeah, in the dorm room. Right, right. Uh, Flip that baby on. They got some here too. They got some here too in the sleep rooms. Uh, no, it's a, uh, it's it's a great thing to have. Should I, everybody should go get their awesome there. All right, yeah. Two day. Look, looks like I got to awesome, get man. a spokesman deal. I'm sitting next to one guy that does enough, <laughs> his fair share of stuff. Now we got a guy we're interviewing. I I got to get on the ball here. There you all go. right, thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Appreciate Jordan. the time. Good luck on Sunday. Appreciate it. All right, that's uh, Jordan Poyer. Fresh off the field interviews brought to you by Austin Air, the official clean air provider of the Buffalo Bills. 